For Grayson, back again with another career mode part here on F1 Manager 22. We're in Spain, we're in Carlos Sainz, his home Grand Prix. We're looking for a good result here, but are we going to get that result? Because Ferrari, this season, I mean, I, I actually, I'm in disbelief it's actually worse than last season. I didn't think it would get that bad, but here we are in Catalonia, looking to uh, scrape from results. Why do you see him practice free? It looks like McLaren, and almost, I mean, McLaren, Mercedes are taking the fight to Red Bull, but he just can't get anywhere near the lot of them. Which is depressing here, I mean, usually we've been pretty good at Spain uh, as we go into the final part of qualifying though, for Stappen, grabs Paul, Figasli, both Marks and Perez. Looks like he's going to have a fight on his hand this year. With Max last season, it was basically a guarantee they'd get 1-2 every year, but I believe we actually started 1-2 last year in Spain, didn't we? Due to the way the rain and qualifying, but Leclerc ninth, signs in tenth. Hopefully, we can do something here as we go in to turn one. But are we going to be able to do it? I'm not so sure. Ghastly for stopping, no ball in here as we are still sitting in ninth and tenth. It kind of looks like us in Alpine. Alpine, Alpine. I've got similar pace, but again, <laughs> nothing really that's going to be worrying the top two teams. But as you can see, Ghastly will be looking. McLaren have had a few bits of. Heartbreak this year, and you know, hopefully, oh no, I talk about heartbreak, Carlos Sainz just drove off the track at his own Grand Prix, I mean, when, when you're in a car that lacks pace, you just can't afford mistakes like that, Carlos, and I, and I can't believe he's went ahead and done that, but Gasly is managing here to hang on to his lead as we move on though to lap 23, Gasly has pit it, he's coming up behind Sainz, we've pit at Leclerc, so yeah, I mean, you can maybe argue Sainz is Absolute botch, the start has helped them here eke out this stint on the medium tyres, but at the same time, man, it's not ideal. It's truly not ideal as a lot more people are pitting, but Gasly is the highest runner that has pitted so far for stopping, and was that Bottas have pitted? Perez, though, still hasn't pitted. Danny Ricardo now in the DRS of Charles Leclerc. He'll be wanting to do well, but even, I mean, look at Sainz. Sainz isn't that far ahead of Leclerc, and he's got a pit stop still to go. I mean, we're trying the one stop with Sainz, we're trying the two stop with Leclerc. Will it work? I'm not too sure. Spain, just very, very bad on the tyre, whereas it normally is. As it normally is. So, as you can see, Ricardo gets past Leclerc, which is pretty di disappointing as uh, Carlos Sainz is making it stop. I mean, Hamilton down there in the Haas. What's he all about? Is Danny Rick now? He's looking to eat in. To Sergio Perez, but so Perez just pit it, so good luck with that shit sunshine. And you're just kind of stuck in limbo at this point, you're 31 laps to go, I mean, Sainz is going to do a good job stretching that out, and Leclerc's just got nobody in front of him to really overcut. <laughs> you know, Leclerc at this stage, I probably should have just pushed these tyres to the max and then pit it, but when your car's not as quick, you can't fly through the field as easy as you could have done in previous seasons, you know, but we've got a few people making their pit stops again, Likes uh, uh, Bottas, Verstappen, Gasly's made his, also Danny Rick has made his, but what we're going to do here with 17 laps to go is Norris is all over the rear wing of Charles Leclerc, but again, like Leclerc is just not lasting 27 laps here. We've no chance, guys. Points is even looking pretty tough, but if we move on to the final lap, Valtteri Bottas on to the rear wing of Pierre Gasly. Russell is right behind him. You've got Verstappen right behind the three of them. Then you've got Norris, Perez, Alonso, Auckland. But actually in the points, Sainz though, he's trying to push those hard tyres, but I don't think he's going to get any points. But Leclerc is a decent bit up the road. He should be able to um, hang on at this stage. But yeah, man, pretty disappointing from a Sainz perspective. But again, I think we would have got ninth and 10th. It just depends that on that spin the Carlos Sainz did, he absolutely botched for his guys and it, it's no good, but he's not going to get points today, but thankfully Leclerc does have that 5 second gap, but Pierre Gasly in the McLaren is going around the final couple of corners here, what a move he's decided to make there by moving to McLaren, what a man, what a legend, and he goes across the line, and it is P1 there for Pierre Gasly, it is a fucking McLaren Mercedes podium, insane. As it looks like it's going to be the Alpines that are next to cross the line along with Sergio Perez. And then we are going to scrape home with two points. Correct. And if you look at the driver standings, Bottas leads for Gasly, Perez for Stappen. So close between the top four. That's going to be very interesting. But for us, it's very sad as we leave Spain clinically and absolutely depressed, man.